Hi guys, welcome Hello. to the podcast. The Spencer's Ventures Podcast. Welcome to the podcast, podcast, yeah! Okay. <laughs> yeah! Uh, so, in this episode, we are going to be discussing um, our first sailing on Carnival. And we went on the yes. Carnival Pride, and this was back in um, November of 2018. Um in uh, the podcast episode number 16, we discussed our uh, first time on Disney Cruise Line on the Disney Dream. And um, that was in January of 2017. And we decided we would also talk about our Carnival Cruise and um, maybe talk about um, in this one. Yeah, like maybe what we liked better about each one or whatever. Yeah. Um, so, and if you are new here, if you're finding us for the first time, I'm Jen. This is my son, Dan. Hello. We are one third of Spencer's Ventures. Um, go check out some of our other content and, uh, subscribe. If you like what you see, you will, because we have a lot of, of different content and, um, hit the notification bell so you can be notified when we upload new videos. Yes. And of course, when we, uh, we try to, uh, do a podcast once a week and another a video of some sort once a week as well. Sometimes we throw up more than one. It just depends yep. on what we have going on. So, um, yeah, check out some of our other stuff. Um, I'm sure that you will find something that you will enjoy. So, um, all right. So in November of 2018, we, uh, went on a carnival cruise, the carnival pride out of Baltimore and um, we're in New Jersey, so if you're new here and you don't know that, we are in New Jersey. So we were able to drive to the port on the same day. Normally, when you do a cruise, you want to get into town the day before. Um, but because we live within uh, two and a half, three hours, mm -hmm. um, we uh, you know, decided that we could just drive that day. Um, and it wouldn't be a big deal. So um, I think we were supposed to board around 2 I think, I think it was 2, 2.30 right, we, we right. were supposed to board. Um, and we had gotten notified the day before that delayed. That the Pride was delayed. It was having some engine trouble. Um, so it was going a little slower than it should have and stuff like that. Um, it did get a little bit of maintenance when it, when it had stopped in Freeport. Um, so that was part of the reason why they were delayed because they were trying to um, work on that issue. So... Um, it wound up being not that big of a deal. So we knew that we were going to go early and spend a little bit of time in Baltimore and do some things. Um, so we, we still did that. I, I want to say, I don't know what time we got down there sometime between 12 and two. Uh, we went to Fort McHenry first, which was, um, that was a lot of fun. I, I really enjoyed that. Um, I had been many, many years ago, um, so the building that you go into was changed and renovated. It was a little different and I really liked it. It was, um, it was, it was definitely updated and more classy. Um, so that was fun. So we, uh, did a little bit of shopping there and get in the gift shop. Then we went up to the fort and got to check that out. Um, and from the fort, as we walked up on top of the fort and we were walking around, we saw the ship. I, I was constantly getting text messages um, uh, updates on, uh, when the, the ship was in port and when we should report to the ship because they delayed everything by like three hours. Mm -hmm. Um, and we kept getting these updates. Well, when we were on top of the fort, we could see the ship was there. And, um, so that was really cool. That was kind of cool to see that. Um, but we still couldn't report to the ship until five or six o'clock somewhere around there. Um, I want to say that we got to the ship between six and seven because after Fort McHenry, we went into Baltimore and uh, found a place to park and we did a little bit of walking around and we found, um, what was that place called? Shake Shack? Yes. We found a Shake Shack. There's one opening up in Jersey. Is there? Yes. So we found a Shake Shack and we went there and, you know, ate a little something since that we weren't mushroom able. mushroom burger. Oh my God. Yeah. Since we weren't able to get on the ship and go get fed, we were like, okay, we got to, you know, buy some dinner. So we did that. And then we decided we would go to, because we still had time, we decided we go to Ripley's Believe It or Not. 
And um, that was a lot of fun. There weren't too many people in there um, because it was like, at this point, it was around five o'clock, I think. And um, so we went in, we had fun. There was a mirror maze that we also um, included with our ticket. And um, that was fun too, because there was nobody in there but us. Yeah. And um, so we we had a good time doing that. And, you know, we're looking at the time and it's like, well, we're, we might be a smidge early getting to the port, but we went over anyway. Um, and it was really easy. That port was, it was really easy. The parking was easy. Um, you don't have to walk far to get into the port um, to go get checked in and everything. It was very easy. Uh, we waited in a line that was maybe a half an hour or something. That it, sounds about right. It wasn't just to get through the security part. And then we didn't wait very long to get checked in. They moved pretty quickly. Um, so embarkation was pretty smooth. I mean, aside from being delayed, there, there didn't really seem to be a lot of confusion. I mean, people were just happy to be there. Um, and what was really cool is that um, we were there, uh, it was the Sunday after Thanksgiving is when we embarked. And by the end of that week, the ship was decorated for Christmas. And yeah. it was really, really pretty. It was so pretty. The ship itself is one of the older ships. Um, and it was just, I liked it. I, it was, it was decorated nicely. Um, it's a smaller ship. Uh, so it was very different, um, very different anyway from the Disney dream. But, um, you know, I, I kind of enjoyed the, the smaller ship. That was kind of fun. Um, it, they had a lot of, um, <laughs> they had a lot of the same things they have on most cruise ships. They had a lot of trivia and, um, shows and just a lot of different things to do. Um, of course they had the, um, the deck party and that kind of stuff. So that was a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, so the, let's see the buffet I found to be a little confusing at times. Um, they kind of switched it up. Like they would have like a, um, what did they call it? Oh, from the walk. So it was like all like Chinese, um, type food and stuff, which was good. But that rotated, so like, then they would have like Italian night where like a lot of things were, you know, spaghetti and lasagnas and yeah. things like that. I wouldn't say it was confusing. Well, to, it confused me at first. Like I wasn't quite sure what was going on with the buffet. Um, but the majority of the food I would say was pretty good on the buffet. However, yeah. you didn't go to the dining room, but John and I went twice, I think, <laughs> um, Okay, stop playing with the dog. Oh. Um, I know she keeps bringing you the ball, but um, attention. So John and I went with Paul and JJ once, and then just Paul the second time that we went to the dining room. The dining room food was really, really good. We really enjoyed the dining room food much more than the buffet food. Now on Disney, on the Disney Dream, we enjoyed the buffet food a little bit more than we did the dining room food. Not that the no. dining room food was bad. But at least for me, anyway, John and I, I think, enjoyed that. Um, you have to remind me, because I'm starting to get a little fuzzy. It was Carnival that had the Guy Fieri stand, right? Yes, Guy's Burgers. That was Guy's Burgers was awesome. really good. That That is true. That was really, really good. Um, um, that and the, and the blue, pizza the pizza place was all right. The pizza place, yeah. Only because it was, it was bar pies. It wasn't... But it was good. But you couldn't. You, I had to drink. You could not put like certain things on it in conjunction with one another. Otherwise, it just everything would slide right off. Yeah. It was. Um. But it was. Um. Yeah, food wise, I would say Carnival did a really good job. Oh yeah, they I, did a great job. I think they did. Um, you know, they're uh. Their ice cream machines weren't always working properly. There was always one at the minimum. There, there, yeah, there was, there was always at least one that was down, and it was like, okay, this is strange. So, no, I just meant working. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um and I think it, 
nine out of ten times that I saw it be down, it was because it was actually just out. And mm-hmm. people were running through ice cream like madmen. Yeah. Um, so, um, and of course, every night they had a movie up on the deck, which yes. you kids really enjoyed going and checking those out. Well, yeah, those were, they, were, they had some good ones in there, so it wasn't just, you know, old stuff. Um, they had some things yeah. that I think were still in theaters at the time, right? One, I, or, one or two. I don't think so. Mm. I don't think so. Then they must have just been released. But, or just yeah. finished in the movie. Something like that. But, um, oh, what what was I going to say? Oh, okay. So one difference between Disney and any other cruise line is that um, the other cruise lines all have uh, casinos. And uh, John and I did, you know, play a little bit in the casino. So did I. Yeah, Dan did too. Because, I doubled my money and then lost it all. Because out on um out on sea, out on it's the legal. Sea, it's legal for an eighteen year old. <laughs> At that time he was eighteen. And um so oh, the other thing is is they did give us some shipboard credit for um for being late. So they gave everybody I think like thirty bucks. Fifty. No, it was thirty to start with. Well, that because then, then we got another we got another shipboard yeah and we'll get to that so we did get some onboard credit and so I told Dan you can spend that thirty dollars however you want um, and I chose gamble and he chose to gamble it and that's fine I mean it was fun and John and I actually won enough money to pay for our picture package because we wanted some pictures so we both played the slots and we both won a halfway decent amount of money to pay for some pictures and a little extra. So learn that from was my a lot example, children. Gamble away all your life savings. You, no, don't your do college that. fund everything. So um, <laughs> okay, so we were supposed to go to Princess Keys, uh, Nassau, and Freeport, and Princess Keys is one of Carnival's right. private islands. So the next day, when we got to, or no, we had a sea day first, I think. But anyway, yes. so we got to Princess Keys, and you have to uh, tender out to it. Well, the tender company came out. To the ship, and the seas were really, really rocky. Um, I had to eat. I had to take Dramamine and eat a lot of green apple to keep my stomach settled, but it really worked for me. It was fine, but the seas were definitely rocky, and um, so they tried for over an hour to get to get it to work, and then they finally made an announcement and just said that they weren't going to be able to let us go over to the island. So we had to leave. So we stood up on deck and watched it go go away. And (laughs) um, so, and as we were, John and I were in a show, a game show or something um, at the time in the, the big, what was that? The Taj Mahal theater or whatever. And um, they announced at that time that, um, they had a surprise for us. They apologized for not being able to go to Princess Keys, um, which was going to be our beach day and snorkel day and all that. Uh, and they said that they had gotten in contact with Nassau and they were going to allow us to park there, to dock there overnight. And cause we were supposed to be there the next day. And so I think we pulled in maybe around seven o'clock that evening, something like that. And, uh, so everybody was thrilled about that and it was nice to sleep on the ship not moving. Um that was that was very welcome. A lot of people did get off the ship that night. We did watch people get off the ship that night and you know I don't know if they were just going to senior frogs or or what they were doing. Um I don't doesn't matter to me. And so we decided that um we would go down to walk down to Junkanoo Beach in Nassau to have our beach day. So it was just me and JJ and John and Rachel. We were the only ones that went. It was a 10 minute walk. It was not a big deal. Um, it was very nice. It was beautiful. We had a good time. And then we, um, walked back. We actually, um, saw, oh, I can't remember the name of the cathedral, but there was a, it's like the oldest church, I think, or something on the island, something like that. Um, it's actually across from the pirate museum which I would like to do sometime. But um, so we got to walk in there. Now we didn't get to go in because there was a practice going on, but it was really beautiful to see that. 
Um, and then we walked back to the ship. Um, so then, yeah, so then we were, I think we had, I can't remember if we had another sea day and then Freeport or if we just went Freeport and had two sea days coming back. But anyway, um, it was a seven day cruise, so I may have missed a day in there. I don't think I did, but, um, anyway, so yeah, then we went to Freeport. Um, I had never been there before, so we just walked around the port. We got some t-shirts and a couple other little things. Um, I like, I definitely like the ports where you can get off and walk around a little town or there's something walkable to go do and see, um, opposed to, you know, you have to get off and kind of like have an excursion ready or something. Like I would rather right. just get off and, and walk around, um, so, and Freeport really wasn't that bad. I had plenty of little shops and stuff and, um, you know, it was good. It was nice. Um, oh, so because of the missed port of Princess Keys, um, they gave us another onboard credit and I can't remember how much that was, like another well, 20 bucks maybe. It must've been 20 because I remembered yeah. 50 overall. I forgot it was split in two, but yeah, I so it was probably like bucks. another twenty bucks. Um, but I mean, that was awesome, you know. Like we got to kind of use that for different stuff on the ship, and um, I actually got because um, I was celebrating my fiftieth birthday um, at that time. Uh, my birthday was in October, but I was celebrating it on the cruise. I actually got a fifty dollar gift certificate for my birthday. Um, from Carnival. So John and I got to do hot stone massage, which was very, very nice. Um, we really enjoyed that. We do not enjoy the, um, upsell afterwards that really stinks. And if any of you have been on a cruise and you've been to the spa, you know what I'm talking about. You absolutely know what I'm talking about. So, you know, you just have to go in there with the mindset that I'm going to say no to whatever they try to sell me because this is all I wanted. I just wanted this massage and that's it. Um, but it was very good. The massage was, was very good. I enjoyed it a lot. I think John did too. Um, so let's see what else. Paul spent a lot of time in the pool. Oh, we did take him to the kids club on the first day. Yeah, and, that was interesting on that we one in particular. Back, he was very pool heavy. Yeah. Well, we went back to get him, I guess around lunchtime to see if he wanted to come eat lunch. And, um, he jumped right up and came over and we asked him if he had a good time. And he said, I don't know if he said not really or something like that. And we said, you know, do you want to go back after lunch? And he said, no. Um, but see, he was also used to Disney. I mean, his first cruise was our first cruise was Disney and, right. and the Disney kids clubs can't be beat. That's all there is to it. They cannot be beat. Um, he never wanted to leave the Disney clubs. In fact, if you, um, go back and watch our, our uh, Disney Dream podcast. Uh, we talk about that quite a we bit. We talk about that, and let me tell you. <laughs> so yeah, it was it was kind of crazy, but yeah. So he wound up. Um, he watched the movies with you guys at yep. night up on deck. He Mostly spent a lot of time in the pool, but a you know, ridiculous so, amount of time in that pool. Yeah. So I mean, we all had a good time I in our own lot, way. I did a lot of free roaming. That, that time around. Um, yeah. I mean, we... I did we a lot of ice cream, as always. John and I did a lot of trivia. We did almost every trivia they had. Um, and we actually won a couple of times. We You had to get together with um, other people. You needed, like, a group of, yeah. like, five or six. It's five. And um, we did a Trivial Pursuit game, and we actually won it twice. And was uh, the, um... that was really cool. We went to see that comedy show. I can't remember the guy's name. Oh, yeah. Uh, that, he I was good. He was either. funny. Yeah, yeah. The, the comedy shows, I got to say, were pretty good on the Carnival Prize. I only saw the one, but it was pretty good. Yeah. Um, and there's some things like the comedy. Like, they have, like, a comedy show that's, like, kind of for the whole family. And then they have one a little later at night that's only for adults. Um, I'll be honest with you. Which was pretty cool. Depending on what you're going for... It might be worth doing that over Disney. Yeah, it just depends. It depends on your um, taste. Now, I will say, Carnival is, like, at least half the price of Disney, if not more. Like, it's just... Yeah. The, the price is what drew us to Carnival. Um, Disney 
drew us to to cruising and got right. us addicted to cruising. Um, but Carnival brought us in for the price. And, I mean, it was fine. To me, you know, you're on a ship. You're having a good time. Um, I do. I do. Um, I might have to say uh, Carnival did food better overall just because with Disney, um, the dining room experiences didn't get me as much as I would have hoped they would have. Granted, though, um, the one night I went for duck where I normally would have not tried anything else and uh, you know, it, it was a lot more variety. I'll put it Me that too. way. So they had, they had, She's so heavy. Oh she is so heavy. Get it up on my leg like that. Me, come, come, get on me. No, come on. She's so crazy. Um, and maybe that's just because Disney really did have like a lot more variety than I would have expected. Mm-hmm. Um, what are you doing? She's just a nut. She wants to be involved. Anyway, um, hey, there you, there you hey, go. girl, hey, Miku, girl, you little cutie, you're wild. You stop what it. are you doing? Look at her; she's so cute. She is so cute. She just wants to be involved. What this are you doing? She's that's my that's crazy. my hand. That's my hand. That's my hand. Go get a toy, girl. Go. Mm. Go oh, find a toy. Oh, you're settling. You can't get in our laps. What a nutty dog. I mean, she can get in mine, but she doesn't do it. Oh, it's crazy. Anyway. Um, so, I mean, and then, of course, we got back to port. Did we get back to port on time? I think we might have. Yes. Um, and disembarking was very easy, too. Not too big of a deal. Um... Yeah, I mean, it was very simple, very fast. Um, so, I mean, overall, I I like them both. I like the Disney experience as a whole I'm a not, little bit better, but... I like the Disney experience, but I'll be honest, those Guy Fieri burgers might be enough to get me there. <laughs> the like, food. Because you're, like, having that open throughout the entirety of the day and you can just go get a burger whenever with whatever. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. I mean, that. Yeah. Um, but and the so, pizza. so the overall experience, Disney is definitely, you can't beat Disney. You just can't. Um, and of course the, the state rooms were larger. The, the carnival state rooms were fine. We, we got a, um, we got an interior, obstructed view. So we actually had, um, I can't Beans. remember if I think it was a 4k stateroom. So on this particular ship, um, it was an inside, um, price, but the room itself had, um, you, you could see out to the, um, the lifeboats. So we had French doors, but, um, they don't have them anymore now. It's just a big picture window. So you have um, the, either the two twin beds or a king, and then there's a little um, couch that also turns into a bed. So it kind of gives you a little more space in the room. Um, the room I didn't mind that much. I think their mattresses leave a lot to be desired. I slept fine, but um, basically when they when they make your bed into a king, they just push the two twins together, and it's like, so basically you're sleeping on... You're each sleeping on a twin, but just next to each other. It's just, it was just very, to me, that was just very odd. And I understand. I mean, you can't, you can't keep, you know, swapping out like mattresses yeah. all the time and stuff. Like, I understand it. It's fine. Um, but yeah, I mean, Disney overall, a hundred percent, but price wise, carnival, <laughs> um, you know, and Totally didn't mind it. You know, we had a good cruise director. Um, for those of you that know Carnival well, we had Cookie. And mm. um, he was very funny and he was very entertaining. Um, so it was uh, it was definitely a, a fun trip. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, I, I look forward to going on another one where we can do some different ports. I would really like to go to Grand Turk. 
Um, and there was another one, maybe Amber Cove, something like that. Um, but yeah, so do you have any other comparisons that you can think of or? Uh, now off the top of my head. Okay. Not and they both mind. had, you know, the sports decks. They had the the miniature golf oh, and that all is, that stuff. Yeah, I will. I will say the um, it see, the sports decks on Carnival might have been a little a little nicer, um, at least in setup. So I, I will say that much. Um, I forgot. I did. I did spend a decent amount of time up there, um, especially you know chasing people around, being chased, and trying to figure out scheduling mm -hmm. and. So, yeah, Dan, Dan always winds up meeting people and stuff like that. And at least one person and they all start hanging out together and stuff like yeah. that. So, um, yeah. So I think, I mean, I think that's all that I have to say. Um, we definitely look forward to trying to get on another carnival cruise. Um, Hopefully one day another Disney cruise too, because I really do want to go back to Castaway Key. And I want to get on one of Carnival's private islands finally. That would be nice. Um, yeah. So, yeah, because those private islands are really, really something. They're just, they're gorgeous. I mean, mm. from what I could see of Princess Keys, it looked, um, it looked very inviting. And I mean, come on, it's an island in the middle of the Caribbean. What, what more do you need really? So, um, yeah. So I think, I think that's it. Yeah. I think that's it. Right. Yeah. And if, uh, Hey, if we missed something and you guys wanted to know something that we didn't talk about, put it in the comments for us. Go ahead and ask some questions. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I don't think I am. No. So, um, all right guys, I think that's going to do it. And, um, if you're new here, please subscribe, uh, hit the notification bell. So you're notified when we upload new videos and, um, check out some of our other content. I'm sure that we've got something you guys would, um, like just as much as this and stuff so, coming up in the future. Yeah, absolutely. Always. We've, we've got some cool stuff coming up for sure. So, uh, until next time we're Spencer's ventures, we're going to see you in the next one and we're out of here. Bye. Bye.